What's up, everybody? Quick recap. 110 Defender against the 130 Defender comparison. Grassmere Green with the Eager Gray. And we're going to be doing a comparison video. Check out the interior on the 75th Limited Edition 110. Premium quality, 11.4 inch PV Pro system compared to the 130 premium quality all around it. We're going to be talking about in-depth review of exterior, interior, and some specs about both of these cars. Let's go ahead and start that full review. As mentioned, everybody, we're bringing you two cars. And what cars are those? That is the 2023 Land Rover Defender 110 in the 75th year limited edition compared to the 2023 Land Rover Defender 130X. And we're going to be talking about exterior, interior, and specs about both these cars. But before we do, it is not a sponsor video. So if you guys do like our content, we appreciate you guys dropping a like button and subscribing to our channel because we really appreciate your guys' support here at Vagabond Builds. Now also a special, special shout out and a thanks to Nilo Land Rover and Jaguar for providing us both of these cars for this review. We're also going to drop our email for you guys if you guys got some for us to film. Here it goes. And also going to drop those MSRP stickers. So stay tuned, keep watching for the exact stickers on both these cars and price tags so you guys get an idea of what exactly comes on these cars. Now let's go ahead and show you guys these cars. Now kicking this review off with right off the bat, talking some specs about these engines. Now both the 110 and the 130 come with that 3.0 liter six cylinder engine. Now what's it pushing out, you might ask? 395 horsepower, 406 foot pounds of torque on both. They both come with the eight speed automatic transmission, twin speed transfer case, rear electronic active differential systems, electronic power steering assist with air suspension and adapted adaptive dynamic controls. One thing that's different is the MPG. Now, MPG on this 110 that you're looking at is 18 city, 23 highway and a 20 combined to where the 130 comes with 17 city, 21 highway and a 19 combined everybody. Okay. Now let's go talk exterior. Of course you have the grass mirror green with the eager grain. This is like a matte or satin look on the outside. This is because it's a special color and it's that 75th year limited uh, edition on this Defender 110. Bumper sensors integrated on both. The front ends pretty much look the same on the design, but you just get that simple different colors with the grays on the 110 and the black with that green uh, coming out to where on the X, Defender X, you get the black gloss Kind of a more richer feel on this front end because everything's just more glossy on the back. You don't have so much uh, matte silver on that grill. Giving it more of a richer feel is what I think, okay? On the headlights, you get that full premium uh, LED lighting system with the automatic high beam assist, all that good stuff. Coming over to the sides of the cars, of course you get now, I increased the uh, ground clearance on this by a button inside the car, and you get that air suspension with the adaptive dynamics that you get. Um, rims are different. These actually match the car, and they are 20 inches, the five-spoke Land Rover look, with just a, a simple silver brake caliber to where if we go over to the Defender X, you're getting a totally different look on the 22's Defender, five spoke, still same design, just bigger with the Land Rover brake caliber. Beautiful. And of course, I believe, let me take a look for you guys real quick. These are, yeah, the Brembo braking system. Just wanted to check to make sure for you guys. Defenders stamped, same look. One thing you guys need to pay attention to is the wheel well trim. Now this is kind of that matte or satin look on the 110 to where this is that black gloss, bringing in that black gloss over from the front to the back. Hoods, different color here on the 110 from the car to where same color here on the, sorry, 130, 110, I'm getting mixed up. But same look on that, those pads there. Side mirrors, exactly the same. Blind spot assist, automatic foldable side mirrors with the cameras integrated. To the sides now of course the x130 does look more rich like i mentioned keyless fob entry 
black gloss around the windows and your roof rails up top to where you're going to have the keyless fob entry, roof rails on top, and just different look. You got the glass here. That's one thing that you will see different on the 110 is that kind of quarter panel uh, C-pillar glass to where when you're inside the car, you're looking up and you see the outside. This doesn't have it. This just has a rear uh, sunroof on the back side of this 130. Coming over to the back, this is where you're gonna see the difference. Okay, 13.5 inches extra on the 130 compared to the 110. Now, you might not seem that's a lot, but that's about a, a foot and one inch or one and a half inch extra. That actually adds a lot. Now, if you do compare the 130 over to the 90, it's giving you a whopping 30.6 inches extra on the body from the 130 over to the 90, which makes a lot of difference on the space. Rear ends look the same in design. Of course, you're gonna have your different colors. Bumper sensors integrated in both bumpers, all right? Exhausts are the same. Towing, same exact thing. You get up to about 6,800 pounds of towing capacity. You get the full size spare tires. Let's go ahead and show you guys. 75 years, of course, stamped right there on the tailgate. Now, of course, the difference on the trunk, uh, 110, you are gonna be seeing some differences, of course, the third row seating. Up top, you get that kind of C-pillar or quarter panel glass, the two glass that you get, to where the 130 has the sunroof but doesn't have that glass. All right, you get a bigger pocket room here if it is five-seater, but you'd have to drop the third row seats in the 130 to get this length or space. Inverters, same exact thing with the compressors hooks, same exact stuff with this little panel or this unit here to control the uh, ground clearance of the car. And you can increase or decrease the ground, ground clearance and some more personal pocket room for your belongings and things of that sort. Now let's go ahead, close this up and show you guys on the 130 of how it looks on the interior side. And of course we got the Third row seating up. Let's go ahead and pop these out, get you guys a full look. Some accessories. And you'd have to drop these headrests once you drop these seats. Pull these belts. And you get cloth. Here you get more cloth, more kind of uh, a richer, kind of more bougie feel on this interior side to where the 110, that 75th limited, uh, addition is going to be more kind of a off-road feel. Of course, inverter, air compressor, 12-volt outlet, you still get that control unit to control the ground clearance. And then some little bit of itty-bitty pocket, well, not pocket room, your tire situation going on there. All right, that's pretty much it for the 130. Now that we're done talking about the exterior and some slight interior on the back side of these cars, let's go ahead and talk interior. Now sitting on the interior side of the Defender 110 75th limited year edition. Now, right off the bat, five main differences, of course. So this, the 110 is a five seater compared to the seven seater 130. Also, comparison of full leather seats on the 110 compared to the cloth and leather on the 130. Wooden inlays, on the 110 compared to the 130 having the wooden inlays, this is kind of a uh, textured design feel. Dashboard comes kind of that leather suede feel on the 110. The 130 has full leather black. And then of course, up top, finishing it off with the foldable cloth sunroof. Let me know what you guys feel about this in the comment section below, but this comes foldable cloth and then the 130 comes with the visor and the tilt and slide glass option. Now let's go ahead and continue showing you guys the interior. Now door panels are pretty much the same. Of course, the handles do come wood on the 130X, this being the 75th limited edition. We don't see much difference, but of course you see that green coming in on the interior side of the car. Meridian sound system, 
control units for your windows and your electrical side mirrors with three stage memory seating. Steering wheel, pretty much the same exact look. The four spoke steering with the leather wrapped controls for your windshield wipers and your lighting electric steering column on the left hand side of the steering column you have your parking brake and full digital cluster right in front of us for that driver cockpit cluster you can control the info card in the middle by using your control units here heads up display you get them on both the 110 and the 130 same look on the dashboard you might see like the minor differences as mentioned like the leather you still get that 11.4 inch pv pro infotainment screen touch screen very responsive fully loaded apple carplay android auto on both you can control climate you could also control navigation just want to show you guys a full navigation screen on both same idea now for the sake of the video we're not going to show you guys in depth we're just giving you guys a comparison video also something that i want you guys to mention to see and focus on is right here you get this option depending on which package or trim you have this is a USB-C plug-in to where the 130X does not have that USB-C plug-in. Control units for ground clearance, lifting up that uh, air ride suspension or the adaptive suspension. You can increase ground clearance and drop ground, ground clearance. You have traction control and all that good stuff with your temperatures. Maximize knobs here. What do I mean by that? You push, you can control the heated seats, all right? And then no push, you would push that vent and you can also control the vent flow of the air. All right, right under that USB-C, USB-A plug-in, 12 volt outlet with some more personal space here. And if you lift this rubber mat, you get your cup holders on both. So both the 110 and the 130 have that option. Wireless charging pad on both with a refrigerator system. You press that button and you can literally like keep chocolate cool or drinks or whatever. Very cool. Now, since it's freezing here, I'm going to keep that off because we don't really need the refrigeration system right now. Of course, up top, no live feed on this side mirror. And what do I mean by that is that on the 130, you get the live feed, the extra camera in the back. So here you're just going to have that manual glass. All right. Now we're pretty much done showing you on the front side of the interior of this 110 75th limited year edition. Let's go ahead and hop over to the second row seating. Now second row seating for the 110 75 year limited edition. What do we see? Of course, we don't get the USB uh, plugins on the 130X, but you do get them on the 110. You still get your temperature controls, quad or the quad climate control where everybody's setting their own temperature. You do have the heated seats and the push knobs for controlling your seats. All right, and temperature, pocket room on both seats. Up top, you get O'Shiznit handles on the right and the left and also on the B pillar. So you get two different options. So if you wanna hold on for a crazy ride when you're going off-road, you get both handles. Armrest with your cup holders, pretty simple, straight to the point. Lighting up top and door panels look the same coming in over from the front to the back. I'm about six feet, two inches. Head clearance, completely there. Leg clearance, it's completely there. You don't gotta worry about clearance, all right? Same look on the leather seats coming in from the front over to the back. You get that full leather look and car seat compatibility. You could also lift this, get that option if you guys wanna drop tools, things of that, clean all that good stuff. All right, now we're gonna show you guys a quick look on the other 130X edition. Now in the 130X, we're giving you guys a quick look and recap. Differences that are major and what we see is, of course, seven row seating. On the 130, you get the extra two row seating. On the seating themselves, cloth seats with the leather, wooden inlays, leather wrapped on the dash, the USB-C plug in there, live feed camera. All right, and up top, the visor is slide and that glass is tilt and slide option. Giving you guys just a quick recap, just want you guys to take a look how it looks in the 130. 
pretty much the same, same colors. You get just different color coming inside the car because of course the different color of the car itself or the exterior color coming inside the car. We see that fully digital cluster in front of you, heads up display, same. I want to show you guys full navigation, same 11.4 inch infotainment screen also, all right? Control units, same exact buttons, nothing different, heated, ventilated seats, USB-C, USB-A plugins, 12 volt outlet with that space, cup holders, wireless charging pad, and a refrigerated system for your cubby room, all right? Now let's go ahead and show you guys the second and the third row seating on this 130. Now the biggest difference on the second, of course, and the third row seating is that third row seating, of course. On the length, as mentioned, you get 13.4 inches extra on the body length. Now that doesn't seem a lot, but if you compare the 130 over to the 90, it's a whopping 30.6 extra on the inches. So big difference if you're comparing over to the 90. Now. Same look on the center console. You just don't get that USB-C, USB-A plugins. Same look on the pockets. Leg room is there. Same thing on the head clearance. Very nice, beautiful. Of course, we're gonna bunny hop this seat forward and show you guys the third row seating. And pretty much this is the main difference on the 110 over to the 130 for the people who are looking and wanna know. We're gonna drop this seat back, push that forward. All right, clearance leg, you will have enough. If you do drop that seat back also, you will have enough leg clearance. So you're getting a little bit more on the third row seatings because we see manufacturers, you know, make very small little third row seats. But on this Land Rover Defender 130, you do have some pretty good space here on the back. Heated seats on the third row seating, true light, like that LED lighting, USB, I mean the OSHA's and it handles and a manual visor so you get intact with the outside world in the back, so you're not feeling all claustrophobic back here. Another difference from the 110 over to the 130 is this glass here, okay? So the 110, they have these kind of, uh, you know, top glasses here uh, on the top of the quarter panel area, and we're gonna be showing you guys that also. Very cool. Now, as promised, we're gonna be dropping the MSRP stickers for both, so here's the MSRP sticker to the 110, 75th year limited edition, and the price tag. And then here is the MSRP sticker, as promised, for the 130X and the price tag. We appreciate you guys watching our channel here at Vagabond Builds. Stay tuned, we have more reviews coming.